morning guys. So I couldn't find my camera this morning. I did my laundry last night and it was underneath my sheet. So I am awake so early today. It's not even seven yet. I woke up about 20 minutes ago and I am going to have some breakfast. I'm gonna do some yoga and then I'm gonna go work out because guys, it is time for me to start taking care of myself again. As you guys know, I used to work out. I went to LA Fitness a lot, but now I have a gym in my apartment, so I'm going to take advantage and I'm going to start working out. So I'm going to have a good breakfast. It's just going to be this cereal granola mixture. I don't know if I should have it with milk or should I have it with yogurt. I'm going to do milk and then an apple. For milk, by the way, I like having almond milk. So, and this has 50% more calcium than dairy milk. So how's your day, guys? Comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. How is your day? I just want to show you guys my room is semi-clean. I just don't know what to do with all of this crap, man. I've been doing my makeup here a lot more, so all my makeup is here now. Anyway, I am going to get... Let's see, some of my workout clothes. This is where I keep all of my workout clothes because I have a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of workout clothes. Um, let's see, are these the short ones? No, these are long. I'll wear those today. And then I shall wear what top? Hmm. I have a vest too. This is medium though, I'm a small. Huh. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I just want to show you. I love these pants. Can you see them? Super cute. Um, I don't know if I already said it, but I got them at Fabletics, or from Fabletics, I'm sorry. This I got from Ross, I believe. And then this is just a USC thing. And then my sports bra, Fabletics. So I'm debating whether or not I want to do yoga here. Or I want to do yoga at the tip of the pool, but it's a little, little chilly right now, so...
This, this is our gym. My battery's about to die. Hello. Let me get on this guy. <sighs> and then afterwards, after my whole workout, I'm gonna go to the corner and read this book. Let's do it. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh, it's so bright right now. Um, but it's really gloomy, I'll show you in a second. I just finished working out. Um, now I'm just sitting on my little spot. About to read 48 Laws of Power. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. It isn't really though, my eyes just hurt. Here's my view right now. So pretty. Pretty, pretty, but I'm gonna read a few laws and then eat some more. All right, so since my camera died, I'm charging it right now and I'm just going to use this. I don't even know what way I'm supposed to do it. Is this upside down now? I like this way better, so I have to flip that around. But um, I cooked last night. But if you watch my Snapchat, then you can see what I cook like almost every single time I cook. I don't cook every night, but um, when I do cook, I like to show you guys what I'm making. I'm probably not gonna cook tonight because I'm getting off work late, so I'm just gonna eat there. But what I cooked last night, I'll show you. I have some leftovers. <laughs> By the way, I know I'm supposed to make a video soon um, where I cook for you guys. So I'm probably going to film that sometime this week. Maybe tomorrow or another day. But I think the first recipe that I'm going to do be like a pizza, a flatbread pizza um, that I've shown here a couple of times. But I know I probably have like done it before and you guys already know the recipe. But I would want to give a more... Um, sorry. A more detailed explanation but what i have right here is asparagus mushrooms shallots garlic jalapenos and chicken with quinoa and wild rice and now what i'm going to do to make it more of like a breakfast brunch kind of thing um i'm going to fry an egg and add it to it so yeah um, while I wait for my butter to heat up, I wanted to say something and um, to all the people that commented on my last vlog and said that they wanted to meet me in Chicago. Oh my god, that's so exciting! So, what we should do is if you want to meet up with me in Chicago, it'll probably be Tuesday the 28th. Um, that'll be my first day in. It'll probably be in the afternoon because I arrive at 6 a.m. that day, so I probably want to take a nap. I'm not too sure yet. But, um, Apparently where my friend lives is around like a few shopping areas. So um, I don't know what should we do? I think you guys should comment down below and talk about it, you know amongst yourselves because I do not know Chicago at all. Oh my gosh, my butter is gonna burn. Hold on one-handed since you guys like live in Chicago or know Chicago then just like leave suggestions down below where should we meet what time we should meet um, it'll probably be like I said July 28th so oh my gosh isn't that so exciting we'll probably like grab some lunch or something maybe go shopping hopefully people aren't working or could get the day off or aren't in school because it is summer so we'll see hopefully it'll end up working out yummers oh doesn't this look so good i'm so excited ah. all right so my camera oh, the door isn't closed my camera is charged though and i am on my way to my sister's to drop off her car i hope no one's outside I said I'm dropping off her car and then probably hang out with her for a little bit and I work at five so I have a lot of time to kill don't really know what to do till then we'll see though bringing some makeup to give to my co-workers because these are from the generation beauty bag and I just don't like it so I'm gonna give it to some of them but look at my view <sighs> so pretty every day hey so i'm walking to work right now literally listening to the rent soundtrack one of my favorite musicals ever people are gonna look at me like i'm crazy <sighs> i'm 
literally in the street singing, take me or leave me. <laughs> hey guys, so I didn't film at the store today. And when I went shopping, oh my god, my body is so sore, hold on. <laughs> literally have to like drop on the floor, okay. So, um, I didn't film at H&M or Target just because I didn't remember to. I'm so sorry about that. I was kind of just in a rush anyway. And I'm really upset because when I went to H&M, they double charged me for a dress, which really sucks because it was like $17.95. So I got charged twice for a dress and didn't even realize. So I'm just going to go tomorrow and um, get the dress. I'm going to get the money back. So I got a black bra from H&M, which was... Um, $14.95 and it's push-up. I'm also watching Sense8 if you've heard of it. Um, and then I got these shorts, which I haven't tried because the size 4 was too tight on me, so I decided to go for a size 6, but I'm never a size 6. So um, I just wanted to try them out anyway because if I could, I would wear these to Lollapalooza. I think these are so cute. I love that like Hawaiian um, kind of look and the fact that this is black and white is like me in a Hawaiian shirt. If I can find this shirt, I would so wear it. Like a Hawaiian shirt to Hawaii. And then I got these black shorts. Um, these I did get in a size 4. Um, yeah, just regular black shorts. It's high-waisted and is just stressed on the bottom. These were $19.95. Um, I also got this shirt, which I was so happy when I found it. I didn't even try it on yet. It's just a tribal printed, kind of like Native American themed crop top. Love the way it's cut too. And this was $9.99. Oh, this show is so good. Okay, this I love. See, I want to wear these two together, together to Lollapalooza. It'll be those shorts and this shirt. So this is just like a crop top. How cute would that be, right? All right, next I got another crop top, just this black one. Normal, $6.95. And then this dress I loved. I wanted to get it so bad. It's just a very tight, long black, kind of like a, a wife beater material. And it was only $10, it was on sale. So I'm going to cut this, I really need to do the dishes too, it's not that bad, it's only like two days worth, but wash my hands first. So if you guys don't know how to cut a pineapple, I'm going to fast forward this so you can see. This is how I do it, I don't know if it's the correct way, but I used to work at a um, yogurt shop and this is how they told me to cut it. So, chop off. Cut off the butt. <laughs> and then you cut around. And then I cut it down the middle, so you get two pieces, and then you cut it into fours, okay? Just like that. Stand it back up. I'm just going to cut this part off because it's too thick. And then you're going to cut out the pit, so cut out just like that. And then down the middle, and then you're going to cut it like this. Now, if you have a different way, you can do it whatever fucking way you want to. This is just the way that I learned. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. That is a good pineapple. Clean 
clean up, clean up, and clean up time. So I wanted to show you guys I'm cooking a little bit. Um, I am just, this is the bag of Brussels sprouts. Let me actually put this away. That's all I needed. Do I need one more Brussels? Maybe one more Brussels. I love Brussels sprouts. They're so amazing and I cook them amazing. And if you don't like Brussels sprouts, then you need to try them because I know they sound a little weird, but do not shut it down. And these are already pre-washed, so I'm just gonna cut this in half really quick before I go on with what I'm gonna say. So I am making a stuffed pepper with some chicken, mushroom, rice, and then a side of Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna grab like a handful of this. and pepper. Pepper and some salt. And then to seal it up. And just move everything around so it's all even. And then of course add pepper and everything if I need to. I'm gonna let it marinate in here a little bit too just so everything gets all garlicky and oniony. As you see, chicken is the last thing I do because you don't want cross contamination or anything. There you go. And now I have one chicken left for this week. So I really want to like chop the chicken up small. Now I'm going to let this cook in the oven. And this is the aftermath. Oh my god, it looks so good. So far. And now I'm just trying to figure out what cereal I should get. I don't know. What is your favorite cereal? I usually like this one, fruit and yogurt, special K. I love honey bunches of oats. Cheerios with protein. The cinnamon one is good. And where is it? Haha. -ha. This one. So expensive.